Emeric Castin, the Aquatics. Yes. Hi, everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much for being here. And uh, so I am Emeric Castin. I'm founder and CEO of uh, Human Animation, an animation transmedia company. I'm here today to talk to you about The Aquatics, which is a, a TV series, um, action comedy, um, six to nine years old. And it's also um, it's a 26 episodes, half hours, and um, it's also a transmedia project. So um, basically, the, um, the aquatics, it's four kids who are the, the powers of sea creatures. They are, they are with Pierre. Pierre is a mentor, he's the adult, he was an ex-aquatics. And they are traveling to face uh, the um, ecological um, situations. And they also travel with um, Floop, their sea otter. So let me introduce you to uh, to Sati. Uh, she has uh, the power of um, of the of the shark. Uh, she can swim very fast, and she can also hear very very far. Uh, Dai has a has the power of um, of the jellyfish. Uh, she can harm her enemies without uh, without, uh, without 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 harm, and uh, she can um, she can speak with the uh, with the other um, other animals. Uh, Joe uh, can transform himself into a, into an octopus, and so uh, he has the power of camouflage. Uh, Kalev is 13 years old. He has the the power of a torpedo shark, and he can uh, manage everything that is uh, electricity. Pierre is the adult. He's a mentor of the kids. He's an ex aquatics because the aquatics lose their, their powers when they when they when they grow up, and of course Floop. The giant sea otter, uh, which is who drives uh, comedy into the uh, into the series. All the kids are and, and Pia are traveling with uh, through Alba, who is an uh, autonomous vehicle. It's um it's uh, it's shaped in, uh, in into a, a tiger ray, and it's uh, driven by an AI. And the AI inside the AI is Yemenja. It's the, the goddess of the ocean. She's very weak, and she's um she 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 tells the aquatics to where to go and what to do to to to, to help her they uh, and there's the, the captain X he's the the antagonist he's a bad guy this is not is the the, the aquatics are, are not really f fighting directly against him but uh, the uh, captain X is managing populations and uh, and, and people to to for his own interest and and and, and not in the interest of, of the planet and this is how how, how it's, it's working in the in the series and so how how, are, how works an episode an episode is is working it's, it starts where at the blue school because the, the kids are studying every day at, at the blue school, at the blue school which is a, a, a school specialized for mar, for maritimes and then they have a, a special problem in their life. Then Alba contacts them, telling them, you have to do something for a special matter. Then they solve their special, their, their own problem, their own special problem. And then that helps them to solve the problem and the situations that Alba gave, gave them. And so this is, this is a blue school. And uh, um, uh, the Aquatic is not a TV series about. It's not lecturing. It's just um, explaining kids and giving them tools and explanations about ocean protection, about climate changing. It's in the background, and it's also in the attitude of every characters in the show about um, how to use uh, how to use water or how and uh, how to behave with plastics and and uh, and everything. So um, this, this show is from um, Pierre Frola. Pierre Frola is a four-time world champion freediver. Uh, he contacted me to, to produce uh, this show. And uh, this is for the new generation. This is for the kids. And um, as, um, uh, we, we, he, he brought a lot of interesting partners into, the, into this, uh, this adventure. We have the Foundation Laboratory of Monaco and the uh, Oceanographic Museum of, uh, of Monaco too. So to talk about human animation, this is an animation production company. We are we, we work on um, 
on, on, of course, content, on production. We have our own studio to, to produce everything and also on tech because we produce everything through a video game engine. So all the graphical elements, the characters, the backgrounds are inside the video game that allow us to go on any platform, of course, linear for TV, but also augmented reality, virtual reality or interactive and video games. So this is an example of what we intend to do with the Aquatics. Of course, a TV series, but also AR game, video game, comic book, and VR escape game also. So what do we have? We have a pre viable already ready. We have a synopsis. We have a lot of interesting discussions. And we have uh, also maybe a, a partner in Italy who could brought us the Rai. And uh, what do we need? We need, of course, funding. <laughs> we need a major, uh, major broadcaster. And uh, we need also, also, also PR partnerships and spread the word and talk about the project also. Yes, thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you Emeric. Thank you. So we will see maybe in the next edition you could talk about your of animation course. series. This, okay. this is the goal. <laughs> yes, exactly. So I've got some questions for him. Bravo, Emric. Um, I have a, uh, I have a very you. stupid question for you. It's about the price. How much does it cost? It's a uh, 26 yeah. times... 26, 26 half hours, actually. 26 half hours, so yes. 26 times 26. Yes, 26 times 22, actually. And how much does it cost? It costs 5 million euros around, but I don't need 5 million euros. You need 6. Yeah, uh, of, yes. <laughs> no, I need 1. One and, a, one and a half somehow, because uh, I just need a major broadcaster. It is, it's in the, it's in the, the price, the normal price for major broadcaster. Then once we have that, we will have no problem to find a co-producer in, an, in another country. We already have interest from Italy and with a, a producer that could bring us the rye. And then if you have uh, two, two channels, we will find easily a distributor who will bring the rest with pre-sales, overseas pre-sales. And so basically we need one big broadcaster, <laughs> hopefully European. And are you planning to do something based on the series to educate the six to nine years old kids who are going to watch it uh, about environment and ecology and everything? Or is it just... Uh, an animated series. Um, this show is entertainment. Who is going to give sensibilization about climate changing and and um, and and ecological concepts? And after in the transmedia program, we intend to make apps. We intend to make documentaries that will go directly more inside the problems and uh, and and to give solution how to fix it okay could you tell us if uh, every episode are independent or there is uh, maybe a, a long story from the beginning to the end of we would love to have uh, like um, I don't know the word in, in English, but it's f like a feuilleton. <laughs> but uh, it doesn't really work, work that way with broadcaster. So it's independent episodes. If we find a broadcaster who tells us that, OK, yes, we, we, we would like to do that, of course. But what, what we can do, it, we, we, can, uh, we, we know that the first episode broadcasted will be the first, and the last will be the last. So we, we can have a start and, and the end, but in the middle, we cannot guarantee it's going to be broadcasted at the order we, 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 we deliver the episode. Or we deliver episode one by one, and but. Hi, thank you for your presentation. And uh, I was wondering how you, you said you, you wouldn't do a lecture uh, with the yeah. animation. How do you plan on engaging the audience, like young audience, with these problematics? Is it humor? Is it like related, uh, creating relation in between their own problematics and the one in the oceans? How, how do you plan to engage? Um, in the subjects, each episode will deal about um, 
the, the synopsis we wrote, it's about uh, how the, the hunt of the sharks. And um, so we are, um, we are talking about that, uh, that, 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 that fact and how uh, the, the, the character managed to, to explain to the, the fishermen that uh, they, they would better use a boat to do tourism with the tourists. And, and this is how we, we managed. So this is the example and that would be the key in each episode. But then, as uh, whole, every branch, every transmedia branch of the, of the project is going to, to, to be linked to, to, to impact and to give sensibilization to kids. For example, we did not intend to make partnership with toys with a regular toy manufacturer. We intend to, um, why not, uh, creating toys as maps and to then go to you uh, and to, 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 to make your own toys with um, um, 3D printers with plastic that come from the ocean. We are already have uh, uh, someone who recycles plastic from the ocean to make fibers for 3D printing. So this is what, how we want to, to twist the... The ID. Okay, thank you very much, Emmerich. Welcome. Thank you.